All right, so midnight is right around the corner, and Week Ors is gone. We're no longer going to have access to building our own custom interface in the middle of our screen, our class HUD, to convey us all the information we need. Blizzard has created the cooldown manager to solve this issue, and for the most part, it's pretty decent. It's doing a pretty good job. It's not perfect. It's not a fully customizable class HUD, but it's doing okay. And in this video, I am going to show you what we're going to be using, or at least what I'm going to be using to replace weak ores. So I've started making and sharing weak ores seven years ago when I started streaming. And the whole concept was simply, I wanted to make my own UI and be ready for the next expansion. And then people started trickling in and asking me to share my UI, which I ended up doing. And now we're seven years later, and I've been maintaining 13 classes across multiple expansion and classic and hardcore and all of the versions of World of Warcraft. We've been making interfaces and weak ores for every single class. Well, now that's gone. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I might maintain classic, but that's gone for retail. So we need to find a solution. We need to make it look good. We need to make it look clean. And I want it to be simple. I don't want to load 20 million add-ons in order to achieve what we were pretty much achieving. And I found a pretty good solution. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be using it. And there's going to be tons of interfaces out there. But I still want to showcase it. And I still want to explain to you a little bit how it works. And what things are going to look like for Midnight. So this is what I have right now on the beta. In the Midnight beta. And as you can see, this almost looks identical to what we had in War Within for weak ores, but it's not a weak aura. It's actually the cooldown manager and a single add-on called cooldown manager. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm not even joking. The add-on is literally called cooldown manager. And what cooldown manager does is it will simply allow you to introduce your resources, so your primary resource and your secondary resource, into the cooldown manager, and it will allow you to give a nice little skin to everything. Add some border, remove some padding, all the cool stuff that you want to get it to, nook, to look nice, clean, and tidy in the middle of your screen. So a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, this add-on wasn't updated, and we needed to use pretty much four different add-ons, one that was adding resources, one that was doing the styling with mask and then we needed to install another add-on because Mask is only a library that was... It was getting complicated. So we pretty much went from using only weak ores plus the script to installing 20 million things. And then as I was pretty much telling people, we need to wait for one add-on that will do a little bit of everything. And now we got that. Is it going to be the one that we're going to be using for Midnight? I have no way to know. There might be 20 million other add-ons that will come out uh, before Midnight is out. But as it stands right now, this is probably going to be the cleanest and easiest way to get the uh, a good, clean class HUD in the middle of your screen. So what I'll be doing, because obviously the add-on is doing already a lot of the work for you, you still have to customize it, you still have to put the border and all the style and everything, and you can create profile and share them, right? So we're going to get into that in a couple of seconds. What I plan on doing on my end is creating profile for every single classes. So what I would like to do is uh, create pretty much profile for every single spec. So what I want to go what I want to do is go in here, uh, order all the spells the same way that I would order them if I was to make weak ores, right? So with my current logic, I would go with this order right here. I would put the buff maybe in this order. So I've been doing some play tests and this is pretty much the sequence that I was enjoying the most. And then I would make sure that all the utilities are listed exactly in the same order that they were in the weak ores. So my interrupt on one side, right? All the stuns, all that stuff. And then we would go with like maybe some defensives, right? So I would make sure that every single ability is ordered in a logical sense, at least from my point of view, which is what I've been doing with the weak ores was pretty much uh, go with what I thought was the best for me, and then I would simply share them. So I plan on doing this, so you don't have to try to order all of those things and try to figure out if you have the proper proc, if you have the proper, uh, you know, like, utility, if you have everything showing. 
I will do this for every single class and then I will share those profile because it is possible to share them. You can click here and simply do copy to clipboard and then you can paste that onto a website like Wago, which is most likely going to support this feature. Uh, and you guys are going to be able to import those profile for every single one of your class spec, everything that there is out there. So that's my plan. Hopefully that's going to be realistic. Hopefully that's going to be achievable, but that's what I want to give to you. Obviously, once you load this, you can reorganize, right? If you're, if you're keybind, you simply have this going there. You can reorder it, but the major part of the work is going to be done. On top of this, what I will be doing is I will be sharing my entire HUD edit mode profile. So where everything is, my damage meter, all my stuff, all of that is going to be thought out and shared so that you guys can load it. And this is where things get fun. I'm going to be able to share the profile for the cooldown manager. So this is where things get interesting because right now this add-on is currently being developed. And like I said, there could be something else that comes out that ends up being maybe better or just a little bit different or we don't know. Right now, everybody is building UIs and sharing UIs, but the reality is we don't know. Blizzard could change a million things. There is so much that is going to change with classes, with interface, with the default interface, with new add-ons coming. Everything's going to change. Everything's going to be different. So I'm just going to go with general ideas, and I'm going to share that with my plans, and then we're going to go from there and see how things go and see how things evolve. This little add-on is super powerful. So not only are you able to customize every single type of icon, so you can go ahead and go in the essential cooldowns, utility, and buff. You can create uh, icon. You can change the icon size, the spacing, the zoom, how many icons per row, uh, border size. You can change the text for the stack if you want it to be on top, how much offset. You can do all of this. You can do this for all three of the main categories. So if you go into the edit mode, you have the buff, you have the essential cooldown and you have the utilities, right? You can do this for all of them. On top of that, uh, you can add the primary and secondary power. So right now there's a couple of feedback that I would love to give because there's a couple of issues. For example, the runes, we can change the color for this spec, but you're not able to change it for the other spec. So now if I swap to frost, it's still gonna be green. And if I use class color, they're gonna be red. I don't really want them to be red when I'm playing on Holy, but the add-on is still being updated, still being developed. I'm sure we'll have options uh, to go per spec, or maybe we'll, we're simply gonna have to create profile based on each spec. That could be a possibility, right? But we're gonna see how that goes. So primary and secondary resources, you're able to snap them so that they link exactly the width of the uh, cooldown manager. So if you add a talent, for example, and or if you add something in here, cooldown manager, oops, uh, let's go in here, let's go to advanced. By the way, I hate that we have to go through 20 menus. I think I'm gonna make an add-on that literally just, you type slash WA and it opens the cooldown manager advanced setting. That would be, somebody do this. That would be, uh, that would be super useful. Um, so if you take out break and slap it in there, once you do uh, like the slightest uh, little, like for example, just uh, let's just do a reload real quick. It will adjust. I'm assuming that there's probably a hook that we can bind to that would refresh. But as you can see, the new width is being uh, adjusted here, which is quite nice. So it keeps it uh, nice and clean, nice and tidy and clean looking. So that's really, really, really nice. That's really good. You can also add a cast bar. So if you don't, if you don't want to use the default casting bar, uh, you're able to use uh, a casting bar that looks a little bit like what we had with the weak ores. I'm not gonna lie, I am really tempted to just go back to the regular casting bar. It helps so much, especially when it comes to like uh, specific classes that have like the empowerment bar. Those are handled really, really well by Blizzard, uh, especially like Evoker and all that stuff. So I'm most likely tempted to have my UI just go back to a default casting bar. It does really, really well with the lag and all that stuff. And also it allows people to import their own casting bar add-on on their end. If you want to load my profile, you can choose to use the, the additional casting bar. You're going to be able to customize it however you want. I think personally, I'm going to keep the default casting bar on my end. And then you guys will be able to load quartz if you want and all that stuff, right? Uh, so there's a, ton of in, there's a ton of available stuff. And not only that, they can do unit frame. So this is the crazy part is that if you want to have that LV, uh, that, you know, that old school... 
uh, more like pixel perfect LVUI kind of look. I say old school, but you know, this has been this this style of UI has been available for so long. If you want that style, you can have it. You can do that. I'm still on the fence about it. Not because I don't like it. I think it's super clean. I think it's super nice. But there's just a part of me that really, really, really enjoy having a very game vanilla kind of looking UI. I like it. The only thing that I like to style usually is going to be my main uh, class HUD in the middle. I like to style that, give it like a nice little, you know, compact and clear information look. But everything else... I'm usually content with the uh, with the default unit frame. I know a lot of people aren't. So let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to have the unit frame styled already in the pack? Or would you like to be able to do it on your own and maybe have a little bit more choices? I'm still debating whether or not I'll be using the unit frame or if I'll be keeping the default UI for Blizzard. So let me know. Let me know in the comment down below, what would you prefer? So that's my plan right now. It's very simple. I'm going to be using so little add-on. It's uh, it, it's going to be, I think, a night and day difference, I think, in terms of uh, of performance. Obviously, my character is completely gone right now. Apparently, Blizzard has pruned the game so much they deleted my character. Uh, so this is what... Th th those are my plans. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to be loading that much um, add-ons. Obviously, like... We're probably going to still be using Leatrix Plus. I think everybody should be using this. It's It has so much quality of life uh, effect. Uh, we're probably going to be using something like Plumber. The, this add-on is literally doing everything, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using a Plater add-on, although Blizzard is slowly starting to improve on their, uh, on their nameplates. It's starting to look pretty decent. So right now, I do love Platinator. I will be sharing my profile as well, so that's going to be happening. I know Plater is also getting updated. So Plater, Platinator, or maybe Default. Those are the three possibilities. That's what we're going to be doing. We always use Bug Grabber and Bug Sack. We're going to be using a Styling slash Resources Manager for the Cooldown Manager. I don't know if I'm going to be using much else. I'll be very honest with you. Maybe a couple of quality of life add-ons here and there, but that's pretty much going to be it. We no longer need damage meters. I no longer need uh boss timer i mean maybe if there's some cool feature that comes with big wig or dbm that changes the default boss timer enough that i think there's a plus value but for me honestly i like the timeline i really really do like the timeline and the the icons uh i think it the information is conveyed pretty well nothing is perfect right now obviously i know the raid frame are extremely problematic i'm not personally a healer so it doesn't affect me that much but i understand that there's a lot of issues with it the damage meter right now is a mess but obviously it's beta so things are gonna get changed things are gonna get fixed things are gonna they're going to evolve but i simply wanted to keep this video about my personal solution to replace weak ores coming into midnight so as the making as of the making of this video i'm not currently working on making any profile or making any uis i'm probably even playing a bunch of different games because late december slash january that's when the work is going to start when blizzard is going to be done with most of the class design and most of the change to the uis that's when i'm going to log in into the beta and start going on every single class and create cooldown manager profile cooldown manager add-ons profile and also interface profile. And then I'm going to take all of these and share them with you guys. So obviously, it's not going to have as much value as what I used to make because it's going to be a lot more simple and most of you are going to be able to make it on your own, which is great. That's exactly what Blizzard wants to achieve. But I'm still going to do a lot of the lifting on a lot of these and I will share with you guys. If you want to play a bunch of character and a bunch of alts and you don't want to figure it out, you don't want to think about it, I'll do it. I'll share it with you. And then... You can load it. You can use whatever other profile you want. It's going to be up to you. But I like to provide that little bit for you guys. Uh, I've been doing it for so long. And honestly, I enjoy it. I enjoy making UIs. I enjoy keeping things simple and, and informative in terms of display of resources and information and abilities. I'll try to apply a little bit of my logic and, and, and how I think about things. I'll build it, pack it, ship it. And you guys let me know if you like it. So that's pretty much my plan for Midnight. Uh, I'm going to be doing most of that on stream, so if you guys want to come watch and give some feedback, that's going to be happening in December and most likely January. We're going to be doing a lot of work for Midnight and all the interfaces. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. Little rambling video, little uh, bit of uh, information about the future of, uh, of, of Luxtos and Weakors and interfaces. I hope to see you in midnight, my friend. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment if you have some feedback. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps. And also, we're going to be doing a lot more content on this channel. So hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you playing maybe in a Mythic Plus, in a dungeon, in PvP. Hope to see you in midnight.